Hey guys, Dr. Beto, physical therapist. I had a few questions over different muscle fibers and muscle fiber types. So I wanted to take a, a quick minute and talk about that. So we have type one muscle fibers, we have type 2A and type 2B. Now our slow twitch muscle fibers are our type one. Those are gonna have an increased level of mitochondria uh, in those muscle fibers, which is gonna be able to help with the aerobic conversion um, from oxygen into energy. Uh, those muscle fibers are going to be a lot more prominent in people that are doing more endurance type events. So, uh, marathons. Uh, marathoners are going to have a lot of type 1 muscle fibers. So those guys are going to be more of your slower movers, um, but they're going to be able to go for a lot longer. Um, our fast twitch muscle fibers are type 2A and type 2B. Now, type 2A is going to be kind of the in-between. Um, these muscle fibers are going to be able to both be anaerobic and aerobic, uh, and they're going to be kind of more, more geared towards whatever style of of athlete um, you are. Uh, there's, there's, there's some good research that supports that, uh, especially if you're really training towards a specific event like a sprinter or a marathoner, those type 2A muscle fibers are going to be able to aid towards that specific activity a lot more. Um, and it's going to be able to kind of help, help that area a lot more. Uh, type 2B muscle fibers are going to be the true fast twitch muscle fibers. Those are going to be operating um, anaerobically. Uh, it's going to be more of um, your glucose stores when you you know you have that first that first sprint you know that 10 to 12 seconds of that that 100 yard dash um, you're definitely using a lot more of your fast twitch muscle fibers and they they, they kind of peter out a lot faster. Uh, the fast twitch muscle fibers um, and you know and, and obviously sprinters are going to have a lot more predominance uh, in fast twitch muscle fibers. Um, Olympic sprinters you know they're going to have 80 percent fast twitch muscle fibers in their body at their peak level, just like the Olympic marathoners are going to have about 80% type 1. Um, so those two opposite ends of the spectrum. As far as genetic pre predisposition towards a certain type, certain style, a lot of things are determined genetically. Uh, I know that a lot, of the, a lot of the things that are out there floating around the web are going to say that everything's decided um, genetically and from, from birth as far as muscle, type or, muscle typing, muscle fiber typing, and, um, and kind of what you have a predisposition for. Uh, there are there are some good studies that kind of support that there is kind of a flex of about 20 to 25 percent where those first few years of life, um, the first developmental years that you're having is also going to decide what type you're going to have. Um, but a lot of it is decided just based off of genetic predisposition of what your parents had and uh, just kind of what that what that looks like up and down the chain. So I hope that helps guys. hope that was answer your questions. Keep those comments coming and I'll be more than happy to help.